Yo, what's up guys, it's Kizel here, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about 10 memes of Call of Duty Zombies community. Now, of course, like I said, we're only gonna have 10 of them, and there may be dang memes out there that I may miss, or that I may not be able to put in this video. And if you do find any meme that is dank enough, that is about the zombies, or hey, let's just throw Call of Duty in the mix as well. If you see any meme that is dank enough to you, let me know in the comments below, and that may end up being in the episode number 2, if I do decide to make one. But check this out we're gonna do a little bit different with this one now at our number 10 spot ladies and gentlemen we have um on the race now according to people i talk to on a regular basis we all come to a conclusion that this one is a classic it's a legendary one but i want you guys to comment down below with each and every meme that i will have on the list let me know by just saying number 10 it's a classic one maybe it's not a classic one maybe it's a meme where bob would scream dank meme maybe it's a 10 out of 10 one maybe it's just better than lil pump you get the idea there are so many ways and there is no limit Limits. So go bozo, read those memes, and I may end up making an episode number two where I just put your guys' comment. But like I said, ladies and gentlemen, at our number 10 spot, we have um on the race. Now, like I said, it's a classic, it's a legendary one, and let me just show you something, alright? This is gonna blow your mind. The title of the song is um on the race song dot WMV. It was uploaded on October 31st, 2012 by this man, this young man, Milso Gangster, and the green screen was used perfectly. The wordplay, oh, it was fire. The rhymes were absolutely banging hard. And guess what? It was uploaded back in 2012 on the YouTubes, right? And back then, you didn't even have to put a capital letter in your title. Everything would just bang hard, right? And my man straight up edited the video. He even used the green screen. That's what I'm saying. It's so scary and my man went on a new level and guess what in the title like I said ladies and gentlemen there is no capital letter my man edited the video he rendered it under the name of Amon dot WMV and he straight up uploaded nothing changed in the title and my man is an absolute legend now this young man is notorious for saying I'm on the Reese everybody look at me cuz I am pissing on a zombie I'm on the Reese everybody look at me cuz I'm pissing on a zombie the wordplay, like I said, it was fire. The rhymes were notorious. Everything was on point. The beat that was used was a classic. It's a song that made Lil Pump look like nothing. That's what I'm saying. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, might as well say it was way better than Lil Pump. Uh, I, I know some people may get triggered, but I'm gonna let them be triggered. But at our number nine spot, ladies and gentlemen, we have another meme, and I wanna know, is it a 10? Is it a nine? Is it a classic one? Is it a dang? one because this one was uploaded on my birthday and by the time I'm actually recording this I really did not know that this was uploaded on August 15 right that's my birthday by the way but it was uploaded back in 2013 by the, the man the myth the legend the syndicate himself and it was created by our beloved Jason Blundell he kind of like came in hard and he was like fog rolling in and my man syndicate did the editing the voodoo magic and everything like that and he accumulated everything and made everything sound like 10,000 foot fog rolling in everything fog rolling in and everything you can imagine there was that and then it was like fog rolling in and it became a meme it quickly become one of the favorites of a lot of zombie players and still to this day it is one of the favorite These characters are meeting surrounded by the horrors of fog rolling in i love fog rolling in origins takes place in fog rolling in we pay homage to fog rolling in. it quickly went bozo and bob was left in the dust saying um um fog rolling in that's how hard this meme banged at our number eight spot now this one is not a classic it's not a meme meme but it is definitely a dank meme i'm talking about rick toffin saying i don't speak japanese i'm sorry i don't speak japanese my man was super real he was being truthful he was being straight up when people brought up the fact that hey can you speak Japanese my man Rick Toffin stayed there kept a straight face and he said I don't speak Japanese but that quickly blew everyone away and everyone started using this meme and it's an overused meme I, I gotta be real and that's why it is given that number eight spot you may feel differently you may want to just punch Bob in the face you may just want to be like yo 
Skizzle that deserve a number five spot at least or maybe some of you will say that deserve a number one spot but I'm saying he kept a straight face it is over use meme and that's why it is coming in at our number eight spot but despite the fact Rick Toffan was being straight up he was not trying to meme this but people overuse the shit out of this meme and that's why ladies and gentlemen it is at our number eight spot and speaking of zetsubu nishima at our number seven spot we're talking about zetsubu nishima thrasher and they were mean to death and they were meme and kind of like combine and basically whatever you can imagine or whatever you're imagining right now was absolutely done to the core effing teeth. I'm not sure where I was going with that. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna edit that and cut that meme out. But hey, you know what? I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it slip. You know what they say, right? Zetsubuna Shima Thrasher. <laughs> but hey, Zetsubuna Shima Thrashers were replaced with Shrek. And at one point, everyone was screaming, yo, we don't need Thrasher, Mr. Bob, come here. We need to have Shreks instead of having Zetsubuna Shima. And guess what? Tony kept a straight face there. He was saying it's not a meme. Bob was screaming it's a dank meme. And I want to know from you, would you say it's a relevant one? Would you say it's an irrelevant one? Would you say it's an overuse? Or did you just kept a straight face? Let me know what you're feeling on this one in the comments below. Now this one I like to call this is a young banger. Now we're talking about Andrew Gaishkenchi. Now this one was popularized by none other than the legend himself Mr. T Lexify. Now this was brought by Mr. T Lexify fans to Mr. T Lexify because it was done by King XL. Now I would say King XL is a legend as well. I would say he's a demigod, a papa bless, you know what I'm saying? But this was discovered by the fans of Mr. T Lexify upon seeing King XL scream as you guys can see. Yes, King XL was screaming as you guys can see. Mr. T Lexify fans discovered it and Mr. T Lexify put my man King XL on blast and upon that he was discovered a lot of people started saying including myself as you guys can see and it is just a perfect meme now I want to actually put this at my number one spot but the problem is it's an overused meme but at the same time it's an overused meme but I would still say while keeping a straight face it is 9 out of 10 I want to say it's a 10 out of 10 but at the same time I do want to be able to kind of like uh, do something about it and not give that full points because I feel like every time you give 10 out of 10 to a meme that meme becomes uh, irrelevant and I don't want to make this meme irrelevant because to me it's a relevant meme and let me know what you guys feel on this one in the comments below but speaking of Mr. T likes if I add our number five spot now this one is a young banger 2.0 we're talking about Mr. T likes if I forehead now this was meme to death back in the days I remember those those days were gold. Now, Mr. T Lexify had one tiny problem. He has an over largely sized forehead compared to a normal human being uh, forehead. Like, normal human being has like very sort of like medium to small size, but when you compare that medium to small size, of course, that's not small, that's just like normal size, but it becomes small and medium when you actually compare that size with the Mr. T Lexify forehead because Mr. T Lexify forehead is a large as heck. Uh, I met the man in person at ZWC. I saw that forehead and that forehead. I was 50 meters away. Maybe I was 60 meters away. Who knows, right? But I saw that forehead and there were a lot of people out there, but that forehead was sticking out. That's how big it was. And his forehead was mean to death and it was also compared to the notorious transit bus. And speaking of the transit bus at our number four spot. Now, before we jump into the number four spot, ladies and gentlemen, at our number five spot, like I said, we had the Mr. T Lexify over largely forehead compared or forehead size. I want to know, I want to get your opinions on it. Do you think it's a classic? Do you think it's still relevant? Or do you think it's an irrelevant piece of shit type of meme? Let me know what you're feeling on that one. I would say it was a classic. It was a banger. But I want to know what you're feeling on that one. But coming back to our number Number four spot speaking of transit once again at our number four spot like I said ladies and gentlemen we have a transit meme and we're talking about bus route B now this one was like sort of that meme and a lot of people all right a lot of poor souls kind of like started searching for it back in the days when transit was relevant people were like yo there's gonna be a bus route B but guess what according to a lot of people according to Bob they searched quite a lot and they didn't found a flying shit 
in that map. Basically, they didn't find Bus Rod B. But hey, at that time, Trek was laughing. Trek was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? And then later on, they made this map called Revelation. And a lot of people meme that map. And they actually replaced the Apothecant with the Bus Rod B. That's how hard this meme banged once Revelation came on. But it was kept secret and classified from the general zombies community. But coming in at our number three spot, we're talking about our beloved self from Mob of the Dead, Remastered Mob of the Dead. That's exactly what I'm going to say. And that's the meme in itself. And you know what? We're going to add that meme. And we're also going to be adding the following one on the list as well, which I believe is an overused piece of shit once again. And I feel like it's losing its momentum by the day as well. But hey, who knows? We may get Mob of the Dead remaster in the next trailer game. We're most likely going to get it. And this meme will be revived like no other meme was ever revived. And we're talking about in that as well. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It was super relevant back in the days but now it is losing its momentum day by day and a lot of people would say it is irrelevant and I want to know your feelings do you think it's going to be revived and uh, Mob of the Dead remaster drops or do you think it is just losing momentum and uh, there's no way it's gonna be revived but guess what Mr. Bob is still keeping a straight face and he is screaming dank meme that's what I'm saying but coming in at our number two spot we're talking about Spongebob now check this out it's a dank meme and it's a young banger as well now everything you can imagine that was in zombies you can see in spongebob for example the rise on the it was in spongebob hey even the origins robot was discovered in spongebob every single piece of zombies content was seen in spongebob and i'm most likely gonna have like clips on the screen playing for you guys and i want to know do you think it's a relevant one because according to a lot of people it is keeping up with treyarch zombies and to me and to a lot of people it should be a relevant meme but I want to know your opinions I want to know how you're feeling because a lot of people felt like it was a relevant meme but it was not a dank meme but I'm saying to Bob it was a dank meme because it blew Bob's mind away but hey at our number one spot now of course this video will not be a video this video won't even exist if I don't include the following at our number one spot ladies and gentlemen we are coming in and I'm gonna hit you guys up with a banger I'm gonna try to hit you guys super hard with it as well but we're talking about revive me I got a ray gun revive me I got a Colt. revive me I got a thunder gun revive me I got juggernaut revive me I got quick revive any variation you can come up with will work with revive me and you just add that variation in it will work it will bang hard and it's a banger like I said and that's over 10 memes of Call of Duty Zombies community let me know if you have any meme in the comments below so I can actually put you in my next video check out some other videos on the screen subscribe if you're new and leave a like if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you very freaking soon